uh, probably a drone on steroids. If, uh, if you've ever looked at a machine this size, then this is something that you'll uh, find fairly unique. So Yamaha has been involved since the early um, 80s, they started first development. So 1983, they started development for spray applications. The current sort of platform they've got now was developed in mid 90s with the GPS, out of GPS and so forth, so then their stabilization systems. So yeah, it's been a, about a 30 year um, time. Okay, still all green. Okay, that's good. That's good height. Height's good. This is uh, the latest technology that we can view because it's, uh, it's an expanding and growing concept. These smaller aircraft, and particularly where they have autonomous flight, uh, you can use them at night. The other aspect, of course, is that you're not exposing crew or anybody on board the aeroplane to any undue uh, risks or pressures. It's a tool that's got huge potential, yeah, so I would say, yeah, most likely this will become part of the, um, the future ignition platforms. Stand by and dropping. We started aerial ignition uh, in 1967, so to see it come to this, I think, has been an excellent progress. This is a great safety opportunity and activation for Parks and Wildlife to, uh, to establish and evaluate the value of this type of uh, drone technology for its future toolkit. Working with Parks and Wildlife has been fantastic so far. Uh, the guys have been more than helpful accommodating for what our needs are, to learn what we need as, and also then to teach us on, on the other side, to teach us what they actually do. So it's been a really good uh, experience so far. So I've been enjoying it.